Hey, yo, what's good, people? Welcome to another episode of Q Reviews. I'm, it's Saturday. I'm on the way to my favorite place, which is the movie theater. It's beautiful out, but I decided to sit in the dark and watch a new horror movie. Cucko, I think it's called Cuck. I, you know, cuck is a thing too. I, 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 I might not be saying that fucking right. I don't. I, I don't know. But I decided to skip Borderlands. I just heard so much terrible things about that shit that I don't want to spend my money to go see a fucking terrible movie. I'll just wait till it's on fucking Amazon Prime uh, next week. So yeah, on my way to the theater. Always excited to go to the theater. Here's my new shot. How do you like this driving shot here? You know, I got the Osmo Pocket Three mounted on the window. With this little suction cup thing, my wife is not going to like uh, the uh, mark that's going to leave on the window. But, yo, I'm highly excited to see this movie uh, when I get out of the theater. You know, it's a B-roll here. I'll give you my thoughts on the film. Let's go. One thing I wanted to say about Borderlands 2, um, it's that I never played any of the Borderlands games. I think I might have rented it one time or just played it. I, I don't see the appeal in the game. I didn't like the game too much. I guess people really like it, but it's not that pop, popular of a game to warrant a movie, though. And the cast is crazy, too. Kevin Hart, Jamie Lee uh, Curtis, uh, Kate Blanchett. I mean, the cast is fire, but it's just something about that movie just don't look fucking right to me. It just looks fucking like, like mad, corny and cheesy and shit. Like I just don't like. I I, I can see the Last of the Last of Us is warranted for, you know, a show like the HBO show, and I think they did a pretty good job. I think the game is better though, but like Borderlands, I just, I just don't see it. It's almost like, I think Gears of War will probably do better in the theater, but like I don't know. I don't. I, yeah, this is probably going to be one of the hardest flops of the year. Um, in my opinion, but you know what I'm saying we we will see but I am hyped for next week, bro Next week Alien Romulus directed by Freddie Alvarez. I'm hyped, bro. I am so hyped is I think Like yeah, it's one of my highly anticipated films of the year For sure love Deadpool Wolverine best time I had in the theater, but I got a feeling I got a special feeling like this may be one of the best films of the year but we'll see. I'm at the theater now. I rambled on long enough, so let's go. All right, all right. Just got out of Cocooed, Cocooed, right? Um, uh, starring Dan Stevenson. I saw this, my boy Davey from the 80s put me up on this. He said it was fun. So I take his word in horror because he's a big horror guy like myself. Um, and I watched the trailer and the trailer, like what the fuck? is going on in this movie. It's a little bit of, it's like a thriller and a little bit of hint is supernatural elements at play here. I was very intrigued. So, uh, you know, I, like I said, I'm gonna go see Borderlands. So I decided to see this and um, I still don't know what the fuck is going on after seeing this movie, man. Like what, I, I, I understood it, you know what I'm saying? Once, you know, no spoilers here though, but I think you'd be better off going into this movie um not knowing anything but i was still confused at the end like what the fuck what is going on it's like this thing you see it in the trailer it looks like uh a disease rosie o'donnell you know what i'm saying and that plays a big part in the story basically uh, this, uh the, the character gretchen goes to live with her dad and i think i don't i, I think in switzerland or somewhere like that and um weird things start to happen and she's like questioning why is all this weird shit going on and then you know that and then that's the whole movie you figure out what's going on and once you find out what's going on it's fucking weird bro <laughs> it's, it's just weird bro and the pacing like the first act was slow and the second act was slow and it dragged not a lot was going on dan stevenson is great here the rest of the performances are all right man um yeah, and that's for horror goes. Um, it was some creepy imagery in here that I 
to dig, you know what I'm saying? Nothing really, nothing really scared me, scared me like I was. I was a little creeped out at some points though. So it wasn't a complete waste, but man, I, I couldn't recommend you to go pay, see your money, uh, 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 spend your money on this movie. No, 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 no. Save your money, wait till this comes on Shutter for streaming, go see it then, you know what I'm saying? When you ain't got nothing else to do, you can throw this in, cuckold, I, I thought it was cucko, like cuckold or some shit. I'm like, what the fuck is the name of this movie though? No. But no, I can't recommend it, bro, you know what I'm saying? It was just too slow for me. It wasn't, the horror element wasn't 100% there for me, man. I wanted it to be scarier. I wanted to be jumping out of my seat, but I was a little bit let down. It was kind of, it was just boring. That's the best way to put it. I can say all the big words I want, but at the end of the day, this film was just fucking boring, bro. It was, but it had some parts. It wasn't boring as long legs. I, I put it like that, but at the end of the day, I just, I just can't recommend you go see this movie so save your money this is the second time a horror movie this year has let me down so next week i'm looking at you alien romulus i'm looking at you to redeem horror for us because these last two horror movies man yikes you know what i'm saying they were not that great though but yeah so if i had to score uh cocooed i'm gonna give it a 2.5 save your money uh wait till this is on streaming and uh yeah so if you like this video, go ahead and, you know, hit me that thumbs up. It helps. And if you really like this channel, consider subscribing to the Q Review family. And yeah, skip this one. And uh, don't just stare at it. Eat it. Peace. I'm out cold. You hoes been exposed. Walk up on you slow with the flow. And I know you got mold. Left for dead on the road. I strode when your car got to.